Thank you guys for clicking on the video. I am Sully and today fellas we have our hockey movie night finally making its return on this channel and I just want to talk about Cold War on Ice Summit Series 72. It was featured on NBC. It's a little bit hard to find now. It was on YouTube but it was taken down and I watched it and I loved it. I loved it. Phil's from Phil on the Canadian team. He interviews throughout the the whole show tells you his experience and it's nice to get first hand uh, just inside look into how uh, the team, the matchup, everything that was that was made in the culture of Canada and how that mixed and clashed with the culture of Russia. Just a great, great documentary. I highly recommend it. I don't think it's on YouTube anymore, but please look into it. Please look it up. So let's jump into real quick my thoughts because I don't have too much time with you guys. First, let me just say for me, I don't know too much about this. Uh, I went into the documentary pretty open-minded, so I'm not going to try and, you know, say the names of players. I don't want to botch their names. I know this is a very historic moment for Canada and Russia, and I want to treat it with, a, with the utmost pride that it deserves, and I am very sensitive to people who hold this because it's so much more than a game. And at the time, you know, it was a clash of cultures and ideologies, and it talks about that in the documentary i mean it goes more than the documentary goes more into just the hockey aspect there were there was cultures there was ideologies there was, was passion you know canada came in from what i understand now this is just me i haven't lived through it so please don't take my word as holy grail but it was just interesting watching canada you know they thought they they were the best players in the world no one was going to throw them off and they were on their high horse and then russia comes in and canada really underestimated the russians and they came with speed they came with organization not that canada didn't have organization but russia played more as a team unit and but canada responded and they came back as a team and they fought and it's just a very passionate documentary very it's a very well made documentary too and so i would encourage everyone go check it out uh, it's worth your time it's worth your effort of trying to find it you're going to love it and i hope you guys uh check it out just because not only does it teach you about hockey but it teaches you about cultures and about people and it teaches you to to respect them and that a game doesn't have to be a division but a, a coming together of people and it doesn't have to be canada versus russia really both sides learn from each other and I don't know what the relationship is like today between Canada and um, Canada and Russia. But, you know, it was just fascinating how, you know, when the Canadians went over to Russia, they were wearing, you know, street clothes. They weren't, they were very lively in their colors compared to Russia. They were very serious, very toned in how they watch a hockey game. They talk about that, how watching a hockey game, um, they watch it and the Russians were very serious you know it's almost like a golf match whereas the Canadians Canadians came over to Russia when the Canadian team went over and they're yelling they're going crazy they're having a great time and it's just uh, it's pretty interesting to see two cultures view hockey differently ideology wise and also uh, crowd wise and it represents the culture Canada at the time was more free than Russia and the people represent that and it's just a very interesting documentary I highly encourage it it's not a movie in the sense that it's not like miracle it's not like goon but still it deserves your time hunt that puppy down it was on YouTube uh, it's called Cold War on Ice the Summit series I hope you guys check it out because it is worth every second it's just a great hockey uh, they have actual footage, and so being able to watch it and being able to watch Phil's uh, interview when they were sort of getting beat up by the Russians and how, you know, he encouraged the Canadians to root for them. They're trying their best, and it was very passionate. And just to see a country care that much uh, about their national sports, I mean, I wish, I wish, um, boy, I wish America cared one-eighth of how much Canada uh, can Canada cares about hockey and just seeing that passion how the whole city stopped to watch that final game and so guys please check out Cold War uh, on ice or Cold War I believe Cold War on ice summit series 72 it is worth every second of your time I would highly recommend it and just I love watching you know hockey documentaries this ranks right up there so please track it down you're just gonna I can't even do it justice I really can't I don't want to botch any of the names I, I want to treat this with the with the treasure 
that that it deserves to be treated like and i know people regard this game in their hearts very strongly in canada and both russia so guys check it out worth every minute of your time i hope you guys have a great day i'm out peace